Hi everyone and welcome everyone who is new and welcome back to everyone who is subscribed and following my YouTube video series on my double jaw surgery and reverse genioplasty recovery. I am currently sitting at two, or I'm sorry, five weeks and two days from my surgery date and wow that time has flown. It's feels like it took forever, but I look back on it and I can't believe it's been five weeks already. Um, it's just crazy. And I did not make a week four video last week. It just, not a lot really has changed um, from week to week kind of going forward. So I'm probably just gonna be making these videos maybe every two to three weeks or something like that just to keep you guys updated with how I look and how swelling going and uh, all that good stuff. But um, I kind of wanted to recap a few things over the past two weeks that have changed or that I've discovered or um, just some helpful tips for you guys if you are watching these videos to uh, kind of prepare yourself for the recovery. So I uh, first want to update you on kind of where I'm at with my swelling and my feeling. So. I still, for whatever reason, have more swelling in the right side of my face, especially right here. It's not as bad on this side, but swelling right here is is more prominent. Uh, and also, I think a little bit down here as well. Uh, I also have started getting a little bit of feeling right here on my lip and it's so exciting <laughs> because when you can't feel your lips it's really hard to drink out of like the side of a glass or anything like that because you can't tell if you're making a seal or things are spilling so even with fe just feeling on this side it's been a lot easier for me to drink uh, out of glasses and stuff like that and uh, just it's great to have feeling <laughs> I still for whatever reason I'm completely numb here uh, I do occasionally get a little tingly, so I do think feeling will come back in this area. Um, I think, I'll be honest with you guys, the lack of feeling is the worst part. <laughs> um, because it makes it really, really difficult to eat. You can't, like I can't speak and make expressions very well. And I even thought about this and I was like, you know, I would take never chewing ever again over not getting feeling back in my lower lip and not being able to control this ever again because uh, it's terrible. You know, I can't, I know, I just feel like I can't use my face <laughs> and it's, it's really, I hate it. I can't wait to get feeling back. Uh, the other thing is I still have quite a bit of scar tissue, especially up here. You can kind of see why I smile, this little bit of gum right here. That's kind of scar tissue built up. I am still kind of running my finger underneath and rubbing that like the doctor told me to, to kind of break that up. But there's just a lot of scar tissue in there. So you have to kind of continuously do that uh, to work that out and kind of loosen it. Um, I did start going back to work in person um, last week. So week four, beginning of week four, I did uh, go out to clients um, that week and uh, you know, I still can't talk completely right, so it's it's been a little bit of a challenge, but the I, I'm able to come home for lunch so I can have my smoothies and stuff here and I blend my soups for lunch. Uh, so that hasn't been too bad. It's just if my client is out of town or something like that, I kind of told my work to only schedule me in town for a while uh, just because it's going to be hard for me to eat like on the go. Um, and they've been really great in accommodating that. So. Um, what I've been eating lately, so you guys know, uh, I've been doing a lot, I still do a lot of soups and, uh, you know, uh, smoothies and stuff like that, but I've been incorporating a little bit more. I actually started getting frozen entrees, um, like this one, for example, this is by Tattooed Chef and it's actually a, it's a plant-based, uh, entree. So this is like plant-based pepperoni and cheese. I think the cheese is, I think the cheese is real. <laughs> cheese, dairy cheese, but um, it's cauliflower based so it can blend up really well. And there's a few other ones by this brand that are really good like that. So I try to look for frozen entrees that are kind of soft and can be blended up, like have a cauliflower in them, don't have, you know, bits or pieces that can't be blended up. And that's just how, 
me feel a little bit more full at lunch. Sometimes you get sick of doing soups and stuff like that. Um, so I've started that. Um, I've been incorporating yogurts a lot. It is a lot easier for me to use a spoon uh, than to try to drink something or use a syringe. Uh, again, like I really haven't used a syringe other than the first two weeks I used the syringe with a catheter for liquids. I really have not used that syringe ever since. It's just been easier for me to drink out the side uh, of a cup or uh, use a spoon. And for water, I totally forgot that I had these uh, squeeze bottles. They're like for biking um, that, you know, have the end that you can just squeeze out into your mouth. I've been using those to drink water way easier. <laughs> so that's kind of been my go-to product for drinking water, especially is those squeeze bottles. That's really helped me a lot. Um, and I've tried to be, get, be adventurous and try to discover like what what can I eat like for example I went to uh, Panera and I got the tomato soup and you, you know how they always give you the bread with it I was like oh man they gave me the bread and I can't eat it and I was like wait maybe I can so I like ripped it open to get to the really soft middle part and I plucked out tiny little pieces and I put it in my soup like tiny tiny pieces that I didn't need to chew or anything like that. And I put the, all the little tiny breadcrumbs in my soup and I was able to eat the bread that way and it made me so excited. <laughs> so like I said, it's the little things that make me excited just in my recovery, especially with food. I did have uh, some event that I had to go to last week where I was kind of out of town, like not really near any restaurants. My boyfriend star had a rodeo, so I went to that. And I knew there would be no food for me to eat there, so I had to pack like a lunch. So I had just like, so that's the other thing that kind of sucks when you're on this diet is if you aren't home and you're out and about and you're relying on going out to eat, it, it can be really tricky. So you have to kind of plan ahead. So like I had to plan ahead and pack like a lunch, some puddings. Luckily the concession stand let me use their microwave to heat up my soup, so I had a hot lunch. So, um, just little things like that you kind of have to think ahead for. Um, as far as trying to get my swelling to go down, uh, I have been doing uh, heat and ice, or actually, you wanna do ice first and then heat. Uh, but then I've also been kind of massaging lightly uh, and I kind of just press out like this and go down my face this way. I think it's kind of a lymphatic massage. I don't know exactly what that is, but I think it's the similar idea to that. Um, but I just am really, because this is where my bone is broke, right? Up here and then down here. And then for my genioplasty, it's like cut here. So in those areas, really, really light. I'm not rubbing really hard or trying to touch the bone. Just It's supposed to be a soft tissue massage anyway, so you shouldn't go too deep or too hard. But I heard that just kind of helps, you know, reduce the swelling when you do light massage too. Uh, so I've been doing that a little bit. Uh, I still have my rubber bands in. Uh, he, the doctor did say that out in the next two weeks I should be able to just do these at night. Uh, I don't, actually don't have them in right now. <laughs> I thought I did, but I took them out to eat. I just ate lunch. Um, so I did have a big stitch in the roof of my mouth, which was taken out this morning. I saw the doctor this morning. I guess he had somehow uh, cut the roof of my mouth and he literally asked me before he took the stitch out this morning, he's like, there's no air coming in through that hole is, or is there's no hole or anything with air coming in? I'm like, what? <laughs> there was like, it was open like that? I guess I didn't realize it. But he took that stitch out and it was kind of bothering me because like the tail was hanging down and everything. <laughs> But um, uh, he did okay me to start eating soft food, like I can start chewing very, very soft food on Christmas, which is this Sunday. I'm going to be celebrating Christmas. Uh, today's Thursday. So I'm excited to do that. I'm excited that I can have my mom's cheesy potatoes. <laughs> so there is that. And then he said, I will be eating soft food like that until six months out. I was like, oh, that long. He's like, yep, you, we do like, they do a scan of your face to make sure the bone density is there and then you can start eating whatever you want. So that's a long time to eat soft food. <laughs> so I will let you know how that progress goes. I'm still pretty much doing pureed at the moment. 
um, and that's going fine for me. Honestly, it doesn't really bother me that much. I've gotten used to it. Um, oh, I did, um, since I've been working out again the last two, three weeks, I've lost another six pounds. <laughs> so I, again, I'm not trying to lose weight at all. Um, it's just, I, I don't have an appetite to eat a lot, especially when you're eating like liquids and smoothies and stuff like that. And with me working out now and not as not being sedimentary like I was the first week, I'm just losing more weight. So it's fine. I felt like I had the weight to lose. Um, I'm gonna try to maintain it. We'll see how that goes. Um, I did ask the doctor too because I, I like to sleep on my side. And I, every time I sleep on my side, I kind of freak out and be like, oh no, like, should I not be sleeping on my side? Is it pushing on my jaw or something like that? I asked him this morning. He said it's okay to sleep on my side. So I don't know at what point you're okay to do that, but at least at this point, I'm okay to sleep on my side, which is such a relief. Um, so I think that's kind of all I have to update right now. Uh, I did like I did bring a smoothie blend a little blender thing to work uh, just in case I can't go home like to my office just in case I can't come home because my office is a little far away it's like the other side of town from my uh, house so I did bring a little blender there like not a big one they make these I can't remember what they're called I actually borrowed it from my mom but they're not super loud like my ninja they're kind of like little portable ones that you can plug in with a USB port. So I brought that to my work. So hopefully that works. We did have like a little Christmas party thing last week that I, I brought it and I kind of blended up some chocolate cake in there <laughs> and drank it. But um, it hasn't been too bad. Otherwise, um, I do feel like pretty good. I would like for swelling to go down and mainly feeling to come back, number one. Uh, I can't wait for that but I will keep you guys updated. Like I said, probably we'll do another video in another two or three weeks or so and let you guys know how it's going. So like this video and subscribe if you would please. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, if you wanna check out more of my videos, I do have videos uh, pre-op before the surgery so you can see what I look like. And I have uh, videos one through three uh, week one through three uh, up posted as well. So thank you guys for checking this out and have a great one.